Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video. We got Great League Remix, which means 20 of the top Pokemon have been banned from Great League, which is very nice. Now, there is a bit of a boring meta. I mean, Carbink got to beat it or bring it in a lot of teams. And we are going to be very prepared to take it out. But also, it is just very bulky, so... Yeah, it's never, almost never completely out of the question, but stuff like Empoleon is fantastic counters, and I mean, double water, and a grass steel, not too bad of a matchup, and now, we're not using top 20 Pokemon for the meta, we are using 80, 80, and over 500 for this team, I mean, now, Fairthorn and Tapu Fina are all are both good Pokemon. They do get lots of use, but they're not not the top fifty, so that's pretty pretty good. And I mean Shadow Kyogre, it's been featured on the channel a couple times, but it is gonna be fun to have. It's just so strong. And we have the Registeel, which is going to be debuffed. By my nature's madness, I do shield the Zap Cannon, which would have taken me out. Now, if you have a low low friendship, then you have a decent chance, and, and well, an okay chance at being able to trade for a Great League eligible Tapu Fini. It is possible to get one from a best buddy, from someone max friendship. It's just even harder. And they this person made a nice catch of that mirror shot onto the Sableye. But I do have a move banked on my Kyogre so I can take them out. I mean, this is an ABB style team. Got a nice grass type. And got two waters to cover for the obvious wa fire, fire type that the lead is scared of. Ooh, Chelsea. What do they throw? Do they take me out? Shadow Ball? Okay, that's bad. They did not let me get to Thunder. And I did not... I, I didn't want to exactly shield because if I shielded, they would have shielded. But... I mean, Nature's Madness has given Tapu Fini a lot more use. Now, this team does have to watch out for counter users. Being able to do super effective into Fairthorn or just neutral damage. Well, Tapu Fini has Obsist, which is nice. Still takes a lot of damage from counters. I do unfortunately shield the Night Slash, but I was like, I need as much health on this thing as I could get. And there's a Gligar, which I'm only going to go for one charge attack because Water Gun is going to add up with that debuff. Actually, maybe, maybe it comes to play of getting to a second move. I make a catch. I do recognize that may have been the only win condition. May have been able to just not have to try and make a catch if I no shield that Night Slash. But I didn't know what was in the back, so. Got a little lucky. But I was able to make a good play. And still type leads, well... When there's something like Skarmory Band, fairy types have a lot more freedom. And Ferrothorn definitely an amazing steel type. It has a shadow in the game, which it's not it's something that you something like Bastard Down where the bulk is very important and very handy, so you don't necessarily just want the extra damage because you do lose a good chunk of defense. And then uh, opponent and I have a left in the tank. Now, here's a bad lead. But you do have play. Shadow Shiny Polyrath. That is really cool. I'm going to go for the bait. You want to throw five bullet seeds to be able to have proper timing. So then I could reach the real nuke, which I take out that Shadow Shiny Polyrath with no shields committed. And Kyrie comes in. It is in a commanding position. Oh, Victini. Well, this is nice. 
This is nice. And it's actually a confusion big teeny. And I mean, I'm just going to be able to outpace to surf, which is plenty of damage for that little mythical. Now we have an Umbreon, very, very tanky. Now you do have the fairy type, which can resist the foul plays. If you had Psychic, then you may have to be careful about that. But let's see who is going to be out bulking who. Umbreon, for sure. Power does get them down to yellow. I do decide to bring in Tapu Fini. They do leave with energy. Are they going to let me land this attack? They are. Fantastic. Now the thing is... Did I debuff them enough to get a water gone down? I don't think I did. Thunder Punch takes me out. Gonna bring in Kyogre. Now as Confusion is 4 turn fast move compared to my 5 turn... Oh no. 3 turn of Waterfall. Able to get that knockout without taking any damage, which is very needed. They do make a nice swap and throw the move. Now, I'm definitely low enough. Honestly, I probably should have just stayed in with Kyogre. But I do get outpaced to move. And actually, Shadow Empoleon is going to be doing too much damage. Well, regular Empoleon is going to do too much damage with their Waterfall. Looks like a little annoying. But here we are. We have Mandibuzz. One of the premier Pokemon for this cup. Just so strong. And they do swap. Sport. Do they bring in Gastrodon? Okay. I mean, they, they recognized I had Grass type in the lead. And they did bring in the Gastrodon to use and soften up my Kyogre. I do return with Ferrothorn, and I'm in a tough position. Going to go sh go straight back-to-back -back mirror shots, maybe getting the attack drop. I do find a carbink, and oh my gosh, I give up. Let's go. Tapu Fini, too good. The team was just totally prepared for that carbink. I mean, maybe there was some play for them, but... Yeah, Tapu Fini with shields is so good into that team. Now we have Galvantula. Shadow Galvantula, very strong. And we want to not have them leave. We just want to take them out. And they have Shadow Gramble up next. Okay. I do want to grab a shield off them because Tapu Fini would definitely want to not have to break through two shields. Although I am forced to commit a shield just barely. And now we have Shadow Polyrath Rich getting down one of their shields. Absolutely fantastic. I grab the debuff and I'm just going to outpace to the next move before they have two moves. Encounter is not going to be able to counter me down. So gotta be aware on what your win conditions are, whether you need to get shields down. If you can just keep a shield advantage with not losing your Pokemon to your opponent. And we have a Pelipper here. Gonna get just what damage I can, and I do take them out first. They do have a Gligar. Gonna let them... When charge attack priority, they do have an extra wing attack save, but actually, it's not enough for knockout. Dig may not have been enough either. I do decide to bring in Tapu Fini. I do have another answer to the Gligar. And they may full send the Stone Edge, which is fine. I'll get another water gun in before throwing the move. And their defense is dropped. Is there another Stone Edge? If so, that's fine. They're not going to have back-to-back -back moves to take me out in time. Because Waterfall is just going to do too much. Now we have 
Something all a Pokemon can deal with. Now, if they have Psychic Trainings, I definitely want them to throw a move first so I can swap and get rid of that debuff. But they actually full send Earthquake. Now, Shadow Steelix is very popular in this cup. They did go for the bulkier. And they probably have another Steel type, which is totally fine. I mean, another Fairy type. They are running a ABB style team like me. Something that is weak to the counter in the lead, but double strong up against counter to have a safe swap, which is smart. And I mean, Steelix can do some good damage into counter users. Their shield is down, and I had a shield left because Fairthorn just too tanky. Because the Shadow honestly may have gotten knocked out. They've just survived, and we have another Polywrath. Now we are going to let them throw. Is it a nice wind? It is. Are they going to still be scared of a charge attack? Yes, they are. And we do hang out long enough to reach this power whip. Now Shadow Polywrath would have definitely would have definitely been able to take us out probably with that extra icy wind chip, but that's just something you gotta be aware of. Now if you're you have a worse faith one than mine, especially if it's shadow. Definitely got to be careful. Because IVs do play a part in how much damage things can take. But sometimes the right Pokemon, no matter the IVs, just wins. Now this person crashed out, but the down to 0 to 2 shield disadvantage. And they had two grounds left, which... Yeah, I mean, they didn't know how to try to Kyogre yet, but it's just too good into this person's team. And let's see. This team, I mean, a 4-1 for a third set, 23-25. I was able to climb, getting getting close to, to Veteran. Now, this is not the, the top ELO, definitely not, but... Definitely respectable. Definitely tough range trying to get to veteran. And I hope you enjoyed the battles. I mean, definitely did use some decent Pokemon, but nothing insane. And it was able to do really good. But thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily Go Battle League videos and other Pokemon Go content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.